Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Uh, as you guys know, Hurricane Florence has been impacting the coast of North Carolina and South Carolina and some of Virginia. And uh, Raleigh was on the north side of the storm and I live just south of Raleigh in Clayton, North Carolina. So the winds have died down. This is the, uh, I guess you'd call it the third day of the storm. Winds have died down. It's still supposed to rain all day, although it's pretty light right now. Uh, so far in Clayton, we've had six inches of rain, which is a lot. Um, there's a lot of creeks that run through Clayton, and that's what I am out doing this morning is I'm going to go down to the, uh, the creek bridge down the road from my house and see how high the water is. I don't know if I'll be able to stop and actually look at it, but the last hurricane we had two years ago, Matthew, there was so much rain and flood water that it flooded this entire farm that surrounds the creek down here by the bridge. It was like nothing I'd ever seen before. The road just disappeared into water and it looked like a lake uh, with houses sticking out of it. So we're gonna head down the road. The roads are okay right now. There's leaves and twigs on them, but no major branches. Um, I've seen a couple trees down around my house, but luckily here in Clayton, uh, we missed the worst of it. So. We probably had a couple 50 mile an hour gusts, uh, probably 20 mile an hour sustained winds. It's just the rain that everyone's really concerned with. So it's eight o'clock in the morning on Saturday and there's not really many people on the road. I've passed one car and that was just now. So we're gonna ride down the road a little bit and see what it looks like. Okay, so during Hurricane Matthew, this is the area that was flooded. And uh, you can see their little pond down there has a bunch of water in it. But so far I don't see Swift Creek up over the road. Uh, but I'm going to go slow as we go through here because this was all underwater for Hurricane Matthew. The cows don't seem to mind. If you look at this fence on the side of the road, this is still damaged from Hurricane Matthew when it was all underwater. So we're coming up to the bridge right now. Uh, and I don't see water up too high, which is kind of nice. I think we're in good shape. It's actually still really low. Now I don't want to pull off the side of the road here because there's curves and if someone comes around and uh, hits me in the Malibu, I'll be a little upset. So we'll just ride around a little bit further. Uh, there's another bridge that I can go check out that I might actually be able to pull off the side of the road. And uh, we'll see how high the water level is over there. All right, so we're driving through Swift Creek neighborhood right now, which I'm assuming the Swift Creek runs through here somewhere. And I'm just headed further and further back. You can see what the wind has done, just taking all the leaves out of the trees. But still nothing major, uh, no big trees down across the road, nothing like that. All right, so for whatever reason, there's a surprising amount of traffic on this road, but I just wanna show you guys Swift Creek overflowing right now. So it's almost up to the bottom of the bridge and you can see it's flowing pretty fast. It's definitely over the banks. It makes me a little bit nervous walking out here so I won't stay out here for too long. Yeah. Now this is not gonna be the worst of the flooding either. There's definitely a lot more rain coming. You can see the water's moving pretty fast. We are in Smithfield, North Carolina right now, and uh, we're in the Food Line parking lot. And you can see that this is one of the staging areas for disaster relief, and this looks to all be fuel trucks. Um, there's a couple smaller ones, a couple big tankers, and then there are uh, food trucks as well, it looks like, or equipment trucks. So this is kind of cool to see. Right across the street are all the uh, power trucks from Duke Energy. So we'll wander over there real quick. It's nice to see that everyone is getting ready to go. I know down at the coast, they're having a pretty rough time. All right, so you can see here, this is another staging area for guys getting ready to go to the coast. There are fuel trucks, uh, Duke Energy trucks, emergency fuel management. We got all these guys from uh, the tree services around here lined up and ready to go. So everyone staged up, ready to go.
we're headed to downtown Smithfield right now, which seems to have power, but the outskirts of Smithfield do not. So I'm gonna pull over into the uh, amphitheater right here, which the Noose River runs right next to, and I'll hop out of the car and get a quick shot of the Noose River. And then I probably won't end this video here today. I'll come back out tomorrow and do a little bit more wandering around. We made it to downtown Smithfield. This is under Highway 70. Uh, that goes from Smithfield all the way to Garner and of course out further towards Raleigh But you can see the river is definitely higher than it's supposed to be During Matthew it actually was up to the bottom of the bridge, which I would guess is probably 12 feet higher than it is right now But the water is definitely moving fast and uh, I actually see headlights from something down there I don't know if there's like a parking lot down that way But guaranteed in the next couple of days this will all be underwater I remember when Matthew came through, this little gazebo right here, all you could see was the top of the roof. Um, it doesn't look like Smithfield has uh, had as much rain damage, or I'm sorry, wind damage, as I thought they would. So I might walk down this greenway just a little bit, and uh, there's actually camera crews up at the top of this hill. I don't know why they're not down here. It seems sort of safe right now, but we'll take a little walk and see what it looks like. I'm almost positive that I'm not supposed to be down here, but I haven't seen anyone kicking people out yet. And uh, I didn't really walk into an entrance. I kind of came down a grassy hill. So as long as I don't see anyone, I don't think they'll kick me out. But I am gonna go back up to the road to walk back just in case there is someone down here that's gonna try to kick me out. We're walking up to another bridge right now and you can hear the water rushing uh, from the road down this hill and into the river. And Swift Creek feeds into this river somewhere too, I'm not sure where. That's pretty crazy right there. Looks like there used to be a bridge that went across here that's no longer. Of course, I want you guys to remember the worst of the rain is not over yet. So you can expect all this stuff to be underwater. I actually might not be able to walk down here tomorrow. And of course, prepare Jeff. I didn't bring a rain jacket or anything. Now, this trail goes across a bridge, which appears to now be underwater. So I'm not gonna walk across it, but I will walk out here to it and see what's going on. So I think this is as far as I'm gonna go down the trail here. Interesting, they have little signs. We are here. Where does the water go? Right now, the water goes up. So this appears to be some sort of a boat ramp. I didn't know that you could launch boats into the river. I guess you can. You can see 70 a little bit further down. Water is definitely moving fast today, though. So we're back on top of the bridge now, uh, US 70. And I just wanted to come up here and show you guys where the water level is right now. And I can remember two years ago when it was up to the bottom of this bridge, so you can imagine how much more water we have coming this way. Uh, a lot of debris floating down the Noose River. Hopefully it doesn't get jammed up under this bridge. 
but it's starting to rain a little bit harder now so i am going to walk back to the car all right, so I was just headed home, and I drive this road a lot when I'm on the bike. Uh, it's a nice little cruise, and I saw something that I cannot believe. And I just want to show you guys this real quick. I don't know if they did this in preparation for the hurricane or if they were already doing it, but look at this house coming up. That is one of the craziest things I've ever seen. And now, normally when they move a house, they don't lift it up that high. So, it's it's weird. I don't, maybe they're preparing for the storm. Maybe they had planned on putting it up on stilts. This is a really flood prone area that I'm riding through right now. Swift Creek, let me roll up this window. Swift Creek and the Noose River run on either side of this area right here. And you can see they just built all these apartments in here too. So I'm not sure what those guys have planned, but that's got to be the most interesting thing I've seen all day. Okay, so day two, we are back out here wandering around. And uh, the rain was pretty hard last night and was watching the news this morning. Luckily, I still have power. And they were talking about how all the rivers are uh, cresting, you know, they're going over flood stage. So I'm going to run up by RPM Motorsports, make sure everything is good up there. And then I'm going to go back down to Smithfield where I was yesterday and see if we can see any difference. Uh, I probably will not be able to walk on the greenway today. I'm assuming it's underwater. Uh, just driving right now, all the ditches are full of water. I don't know how much you guys will be able to see if I turn the camera around, but I will. So, gonna make this short trip up to RPM and then head the opposite direction down to Smithfield and see what it looks like. So, we are currently at the Lowe's in Garner, and all these guys were coming down 40, and it looks like they're staging in the parking lot here. The uh, company on the side of the trucks is ARC. I'm not sure where they're from, I'm trying to see if I can see a license plate. But uh, they are steady rolling in here. Electrical utility contractor. So I wonder if they're a private contractor. Well, there is a bunch of them. I'll go ahead and roll on and get out of their way. All right, so I just talked to one of the guys in the ARC truck and he was from Mississippi and he said they're coming from as far as Indiana. Uh, of course, I didn't want to put a GoPro in his face, but it's cool to see that people from that far outside of North Carolina are coming down here to help all the people at the coast. Now, Raleigh has not lost a lot of power, but out towards the coast, no one has power. And like I said earlier, I'm lucky enough to still have power. They just had someone pulled over. He must have been doing something wrong. All right, so I'm back in Smithfield right now and I was standing on this bridge yesterday. If you guys remember the water runoff, it's definitely higher than it was yesterday. See, part of the uh, walkway here is flooded where the other bridge was, so I won't be able to go back that way.
So as I was watching the news this morning, they were saying the Noose River is at flood stage, a little bit above, but they don't expect it to rise much higher. So, I mean, you can see I'm out here walking around and the, uh, the rain has slowed down a lot. There's still some water flowing for sure. We'll walk down the greenway a little bit towards the uh, oat ramp that I was standing by yesterday. It's actually completely underwater now. Um, and then what I'll try to do is split screen from yesterday and then until today. Um, I probably won't make it back down here again. Like I said, the water isn't supposed to come up that much higher, but this will at least give you guys an idea in about 24 hours, the difference. So we are walking back out on the uh, 70 bridge right now so that you guys can see the difference from yesterday and I'll wipe off the uh, camera before I turn it around. The water is definitely flowing fast, um, it's definitely higher than it was yesterday too. I don't know if you guys can see that but there is a log down there that's wedged against the bridge and there's more down there too. And I saw some of this yesterday, but that is a rather large tree that has made its way down and gotten caught on the bridge. And then all the other debris is getting caught up under the bridge as well. Pretty crazy. So, I might actually walk over to the other side and see what it looks like. Okay, so... Walking under the bridge, actually. Hopefully no one's down here. Holy cow. Wait till you guys see how much higher it is than it was yesterday. So what they're saying is it's going to get about two feet higher. So this walkway will be covered, of course. It won't make it up to the bottom of the bridge, but it's got to be 10 feet higher than it was yesterday. Pretty crazy. I don't think you will be sitting in that park bench. Okay, well that's as close as I'm going to get. I'm going to make my way back up this hill, and that will wrap up this video. I uh, just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a perspective of what we were looking at around Clayton, North Carolina. So hopefully everyone remains safe during this hurricane, and hopefully everyone is getting their utilities back. Uh, I've seen trucks everywhere staged, ready to go down to the coast and get everything back up and running. So I appreciate you guys watching, and uh, we will see you next time.